بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دی سکس سیشن آف آور کورس آن آرگنائزیشن تھیری اینڈ ڈیزائن اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول کنٹینیو ٹاک اباؤٹ دی اسٹریٹیجک مینجمنٹ پارٹ آف آور کورس اور دی اسٹریٹیجک پرپز وچ وی ہیو بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ان دا لاسٹ کپل آف سیشنس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول ایلیبریٹ آن سم سرٹن ٹرمس وچ وی ہیو آلریڈی یوزڈ بیکاز the process of strategic intent how it develops how the strategic direction develops that process we have briefly touched we have seen that the top management forms the goals the objectives the mission the vision and that together with the market and customer uh, scope and the product scope of the company creates a strategy which in turn affects and creates an organizational design that part we have already seen that strategy affects the designs and then we have already discussed some generic strategies like porter like miles and snow so today we will try to understand what is uh, the difference between mission and operative goals of a company and how the operative goals play their important role in uh, deciding the outcomes which the company has or in measuring and evaluating those outcomes which the company has selected as its benchmarks now the mission of a company very very broadly if we try to define the mission it is the overall goal of a company it is the reason of that organization why that organization exists and why that organization is in being the reason behind it is the mission of that organization or the overall purpose it describes an organization's vision its shared values beliefs and reasons for being now we have already seen that vision is something which is the hallmark of visionary leadership and everyone is not a visionary leader but top managers have the conceptual skills to convert their own ambitions and their desires into a vision for the whole company to create a future for the employees of the company therefore the mission will also contain will be based on that vision and also the shared values which means the culture which is based on beliefs and values of the organization when we talk about culture we are talking about groups of people therefore we use the term shared values and as i have already mentioned the very basic reason of the existence of that organization sometimes mission is also called official goal if we write the mission in the form of a mission statement for example we are describing the official goal of the company so we can say that the company has broadly two types of goals an overall goal which we have just termed as the official goal or the mission and operative goals about which we will talk about later on in this session now official goal is actually a formal and stated definition of the business scope and the outcomes a particular organization is trying to achieve now we have already mentioned that by scope of the business we mean exactly what is the area in which that business will operate both functionally as well as ideologically like suppose a company which operates a fleet of buses a fleet of large vehicles which run from lahore to say multan or pindi or any other city now apparently this particular company is in the business of road transport they carry people from one place to another by road if they define their business like that that we are a road transport company that will reflect or that will create a very different outcome for that company as compared to if they define that we are in the business of transport because if they say that it will mean that they are in the business of transport not only road transport but transport which means their competition is not only road transport but they are also positioning themselves to compete against rail maybe air so this is how companies define their scope 
because there is no pressure on them to define their scope in a particular way. It is up to them, given their resources, given their reasons for being, given their operations, given their strengths, given their capabilities, they decide the scope of their business and that scope of the business is actually the mission of the business. Now, for your convenience, so that you can understand how a mission statement looks like and how a mission statement is written, we are showing you a sample mission statement of a company, consumer products but which are changing very fast, which demand a lot of creativity. So, their sample mission statement has five points in it and it says that our products and services must enrich people's lives and enhance their relationships. Now, we don't know what the details of this company's products and services are, but you can see this is not a standard mission statement and I am not trying to say that all mission statements should be like this. It is a sample mission statement of a company which deals with such products because if the company is in industrial products or in consumer durable products or in electronics, then obviously uh, within their own context, they will have different wordings and different orders of mission statement. But this is how basic things are defined by a mission statement that we will enrich our people's life. It is not only giving them. Now, you see, these are the promises which the company is making with the customers and the customer have all the right to expect that these promises will be fulfilled. So, that is why a mission statement is an official goal of the company because they are spelling out what they promise to give to the people. Now, in this case, they are not only saying that we will provide you with excellent products and services. They are saying our products and services must enrich people's lives, whatever that product and service is, whether it is a consumer durable or whether it is a reading a book or something related with education or toys, whatever it is. It has to enrich people's lives and enhance their relationships. So, it looks like their products are something to do with the relationship of people. So, they are saying that our products will improve the relationship among people and will also enrich their life experiences. So that is a promise which they are making. Then they are spelling out clearly that creativity and quality in our concepts, products and services are essential to our success. Again, they are not confining creativity and quality to their production process only. But they are saying that creativity and quality in our concepts, which means in our thoughts, in our mind. So, the quality and creativity for this particular company, the very moment they start conceiving the ideas, they take care that whatever ideas they are conceiving, they are based on these two values of creativity and top-notch quality. And from then on, from the idea to the process of production, to the acquisition of raw material because obviously products and services the pure banenge uske liye raw material bhi hoga production process bhi hoga and distribution will be there as well so they are promising that quality and creativity is our basic qualities our basic attributes our basic values not only in the products and services but also the way we conceive these products and services and they are defining these two values as essential to their own success. So, if they want to measure their own success or if they want to assess their own performance, these are the two values or these are the two criteria on which they will measure their success or failure. You can see that they have not related finances with their success because financial emphasis alone will make a company myopic. It might make them efficient, but it will not make them effective as we will see later. Third thing which they are promising in this mission statement is that our people, which means our employees, are most valuable resource. So, they have declared the importance of their own people, their own employees as the most important resource. It is, now you will think that this is understood. That people will be the most important resource. Honge. And I will agree with you. But there are certain things which are understood, but we still need to repeat them. Like we, for example, 
we have great regard and affection and love for our family. Everybody knows that and everybody has that. Most of the people have that. But saying it and showing that love to our family again and again is what makes them happy. So even if everybody knows that people are our most valuable resources, but once a company commits to it, then that company is making a statement to the stakeholders that our employees are our assets, which means the employees entering that organization will have different expectations from that particular company because they know that we are the most valuable resource and probably the company is going to invest its maximum on us. So that is a message to the most important stakeholder employee and through them, to the community that since we treat our employees very well because they are our most valuable resource, we train them, we develop them, we give them career paths, we give them uh, work-life balance, we provide them good life. So there, therefore, in the long run, that is also a contribution to the community. But through these people, we are exercising our values of creativity and quality. And unless these people which we have hired have those values or are able to sustain the pressures required to work in this culture, unless until they are up to that standard, then we can call them our people and that is why they are our most valuable resource. Fourth thing which this mission statement is telling us is that distinguished financial performance is a must, not as an end in itself, but as a mean to accomplish our broader mission. So you can see that they have put financial performance at number four and they are saying, that financial performance and distinguished financial performance, outstanding financial performance is obviously a must because without finances, again, there can be no acquisition of material, whether raw material or human resources and capital requirement is a must. But our company is not created to make profit because then in the next line, in the next same sentence, they say, not as an end in itself, which means that we are not making money for the sake of making money only. but we are making money or we are after profits because we use them as a means to accomplish what we are promising with you. Because to accomplish creativity and quality in our concepts, in our products, in our services and to create quality products and services and to invest in people and to give them career paths and to give them training and to give them skills and capabilities so that they can produce excellent ideas and excellent products, we need financial performance. But only as far as the attainment of our mission statement is concerned, not to amass wealth only. That is also a message which is clearly coming out to the stakeholders. And finally, they say that our private ownership must be preserved, that they are probably saying in the spirit of true capitalism, because true capitalism obviously is based on two important things, free market and private ownership of property and that they are reinforcing that concept of capitalism here. And the same company, if you look at the bottom half of their mission statement, we can see that they are also spelling out their organizational guiding values to us. So, we provide sample from the same company and they spell out four of their values. The first value is excellence in all we do. Now, this is actually just five words, excellence in all we do. But these five words say a lot about the philosophy of this company because they say excellence in all we do. Now, that is a serious statement, which means, as they have already mentioned in their mission statement, even from the process of conception of ideas and now, we have seen excellence in all we do will mean excellence in acquiring raw material, excellence in inspecting and testing that raw material, excellence in their production process, excellence in the quality of inspection, testing and the various statistical tools or other tools which they use to enhance quality, excellence in distribution of the products, excellence in branding of those products, excellence as far as the constituents ingredients are concerned, excellence as far as the processes within the company are concerned, excellence as far as the people, their career paths, their promotions, 
the job opportunities, the work life balance, their contribution to community is concerned. So, they are promising excellence in all we do. So, that value of excellence is governing the value system of that particular company. Second value, which they spell out very clearly to us when they say ethical and moral conduct at all times and in all our relationships. So, ethics and morals, as we know, are basically the decisions where morality is concerned with the concept of right and wrong. And in business, we frequently talk about applied ethics because if you look at the philosophy of ethics or philosophy of morality, that is the normative side of ethics, where we encounter the various Greek philosophies about ethics. Plato has uh, written a lot on ethics, Aristotle has written a lot on ethics. And then we move down the, lane, uh, down the timeline and we come towards the French and especially the Germans, Kant, and then the British philosophers and then the American philosophers, they all have talked about ethics and those theories of ethics are normative ethics. And obviously, when we are talking about business ethics, we are talking about applied ethics. Ethics in relationship with suppliers, for example. Ethics in relationship with customers. Do we fulfill our promises with our suppliers? That is an ethical question. Do we provide the right product to our customer? That's an ethical question. Is our advertisement exaggerating too much or is it within ethical boundaries? So, all sorts of questions pertaining to right or wrong, pertaining to correct or incorrect in terms of morality, they are concerned with ethics and morals of a particular company. And here, this company is emphasizing very clearly that ethics and moral conduct at all times and in all of our relationship, whether they are with our suppliers or with our customers or with our employees or with other government agencies or all stakeholders. So, all of our relationships, you can see the strength of ethical values in this company because ethics and morals is one of their guiding values. Third value about which they talk about is innovation. And again, they promise innovation in all areas of our business as a means of attaining and sustaining leadership. So, innovation here, they are not using innovation just for the sake of innovating in the product and services, but they want to innovate in all areas of business so that they can retain and sustain their position of leadership in the industry. So, innovation is the lifeblood which is giving them, uh, we can without knowing this company, without even knowing their name, without even knowing their financial performance, through their guiding values, we can see that either they are the market leaders or that is their aspiration to become market leaders. And to become market leaders, they want to use, they want to utilize the concept of innovation. Fourth value, which they very clearly spell out, is the corporate social responsibility, CSR, to the city and to each community in which we operate. So, what are the various corporate social responsibility systems of companies if they are in production, if they are in service? So, those are a farak farak. Kitna zada waste aap dump kar rahe hain shahar ki khaza mein. Kitna zada green environment aap preserve kar nahi koshish kar rahe Aapka product, is it affecting the environment? The packaging of that product, when people use it and they throw it away, can it be recycled? or does it add to the litter and solid waste of the environment? So, they are also promising that we will have corporate social responsibility not only to the city, but to the each community because it is possible that they are operating in a large city which is composed of many sub-communities. So, they are promising that we will exhibit and we will show corporate social responsibility not only in the city, but to all the communities which we are serving. So, now if we look at the value basis of these, this particular company, we can see excellence, ethics, innovation and corporate social responsibility as their guiding values. Now, just the way a plant or a pode ke seed, se hi laga lete hai, seed se hi pata chal jata hai ke plant kis tere ka hoga. 
اب ظاہر ہے کہ اگر سیڈ کسی پھولدار پودے کا ہے تو پودا پھولدار ہی ہوگا اگر سیڈ سیب کا ہے تو سیب ہی اگے گا اس کی جگہ کیلا یا آم تو نہیں اگے گا تو اگر سیڈس ایکسلنس کے ہیں ایتھکس کے ہیں انوویشن کے ہیں کارپوریٹ سوشل رسپانسبلٹی کی ہیں تو اس کے اوپر جو بلڈنگ بنے گی جو کلچر کریٹ ہوگا اور وہ بھی ایکسلنس ایتھکس انوویشن اور کارپوریٹ سوشل رسپانسبلٹی کو ریفلیکٹ کرے گا تو وی کین انویژن واٹ دس کمپنی از ٹرائنگ ٹو کریٹ اور واٹ دس کمپنی ہیز آلریڈی کریٹڈ تھرو دیئر گائڈنگ ویلیوز اینڈ تھرو دیئر مشن اسٹیٹمنٹ تو دس واز ون آف دی illustrations of how companies use their mission or their official goals to describe themselves to describe uh, the business in which they are in and to describe the scope of their business as comprehensively as possible the other type of goals are called operative goals as we have already said there are two types of goals broad overall goals mission and operative goals which describe specific measurable outcomes and are concerned with shorter run jo official goal ya mission statement humne abhi dekha hai to long term view hai company ka it is what the company wants to be but obviously companies do not operate on long term basis alone short term bhi hoti hai ek saal ke bhi targets hote hain 6 mahine ke bhi targets hote hain to chote targets ko achieve karne ke liye jo goals banaye jate hain chote arse ke not chote in the sense of small volume but chote in the sense of time period for a short run those goals are called operative goals operative goals pertain to primary task an organization must perform jo humne official goal dekhe the they were the primary concept or the primary ideas which that company has about its business and to fulfill those ideas it needs to perform a number of primary tasks now there are various types of operative goals and we will see and we will discuss some of those type like ek operative goals ki type hai jinhe hum kehte hain overall performance goals right you as this company has said jiski humne abhi baat ki that financial performance is a must for them and they want to have a distinguished strong financial performance therefore one of the operative goals us pe to unhone sirf ye kaha ke financial performance which is distinguished that does not make uh, it very specific and in the last uh, lecture number 4 we talked about when we talked about goals we said that goals should be smart which means they should be specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound so in order to convert that overall broad goal into a smart smart goal this company will can or any company can either use profitability as their overall performance goal mayer or net income or return on investment or earning per share ye sare ke sare honge financial indicators of overall performance companies can also use and they do use non financial indicators of overall performance like growth and volume kitne zyada unit unhone produce kiye ya kitne unit unhone beche unki growth in terms of volume kitni ho rahi hai ya growth in terms of profitability kitni ho rahi hai so they they can use various indicators to capture the overall performance goals iske alawa ek aur qisam ki goals hain jinko hum kehte hain resource goals a resource goals pertain to the acquisition of needed material and financial resources from the environment for example suppose ki ye ek company hai jo banana chahti hai ek it house a mobile computing company wants to create a it house and they have the values of excellence and innovation they want to create links with the universities they want to uh, assess kaun si it ke courses chahiye universities ko kya product chahiye market ko iske liye they need aggressive intelligent uh, and ambitious people ab ye unka ek resource goal ban gaya we want to hire people for our middle management who are aggressive qualified burning with desire and who have were full of energy and spirit ye ek resource goal hai because their human resources are also a way of the acquisition of their needed material ye ek to raw material hai na aur human resources bhi inputs mein aati 
or for example a hospital opens and they are uh, decide to operate in a specialty um, like cardiology or orthopedics so if cardiology ka agar hospital hai to unka resource goal ye hoga that they attract people which means doctors and nurses who have had experience of working in cardiac centers and working in icus and working in ccus to jo log bhi ye experience rakhte hain obviously that will become the basic raw material or basic a needed material for that particular hospital human resources unke is tarah design honge isi tarah agar kisi hospital ki ya kisi idare ki needs aur hain to wo apni un needs ke mutabik apne resources ke goals banayenge kya agar raw material hain to phir unke resource goals obviously will pertain to their raw material needs and what they have to take from the environment aur us raw material ko acquire karne ke liye what financial resources from environments do they need to tap ये भी रिसोर्स गोल्स में फाइनेंसिंग गोल्स में आ जाएगा उन्होंने बैंक से फाइनेंस लेनी है या मार्केट से उन्होंने फ्लोट करना है अपना शेयर्स फ्लोट करने हैं या लिस्ट होना है स्टॉक एक्सचेंज में ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर टाइड अप विद दी रिसोर्स गोल्स ऑफ अ कंपनी अनदर टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटिव गोल्स आर कॉल्ड मार्केट गोल्स एंड मोस्टली मार्केट गोल्स वहां पर होंगे वेयर ऑब्वियसली द कंपनी हैज अ प्रोडक्ट विच कैन बी प्राइस्ड which means it is a for profit company and through market goals companies actually determine kin ka market share kitna hoga for example if a company wants to attain a 5% market share that is their operative goal and it will be their market goal so it is a market operative goal to attain a share of 5% employee development goals ye bhi operative goals ke zumre mein aate hain ab employee development goals में ट्रेनिंग ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज कैसे होगी प्रमोशन उनके कैरियर पाथ्स उनकी सेफ्टी उनकी पर्सनल ग्रोथ विच सम कंपनीज ऑल्सो गिव देयर एम्प्लॉयज अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गो फॉर हॉलीडेज विच दे कंसिडर एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर देम टू ग्रो और दे सेंड देम टू वेरियस स्परिचुअल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स बिकॉज द ऑब्जेक्टिव अगेन इज टू डिवेलप देयर स्परिचुअलिटी और डिवेलप देयर थिंकिंग एंड क्रिएटिविटी सो एम्प्लॉ की जब हम एम्प्लॉज को हायर करते हैं वी डोंट जस्ट हायर देम एंड देन थ्रो दम इन दी प्रोसेस जब उनको हायर किया जाता है तो उनका एक फ्यूचर जेन में होता है उनका एक कैरियर ट्रैक उनका एक कैरियर पाथ जेन में होता है फॉर गुड कंपनीज हु टेक गुड केयर ऑफ देयर एम्प्लॉज लाइक गुड पेरेंट्स दे विल हैव अ कैरियर ट्रैक इन देयर माइंड एंड ब्राइटर पीपल दे विल इमीजिएटली आइडेंटिफाई शॉर्ट लिस्ट के ये लोग ब्राइट हैं इनके अंदर ये स्किल्स मौजूद हैं इनको फर्दर ये स्किल्स देनी है तो फिर ये हमारे फ्लां डिपार्टमेंट में ये पोजिशन संभाल सकेंगे तो एम्प्लॉय डिवेलपमेंट गोल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दे आइडेंटिफाई वेरियस एरियाज वेयर एम्प्लॉयज नीड टू बी ट्रेंड वेयर एम्प्लॉयज नीड टू बी गिवन स्किल्स सो दैट दे कैन कैरी ऑन विद देयर वर्क एंड कैरी ऑन विद देयर कैरियर पाथ्स इन लाइन विद दी गोल्स ऑफ द कंपनी Innovation and change goals, like new products, services development. कितने हम product नए develop करेंगे, कितनी नई services develop करेंगे, या production process में हम क्या changes और innovations लेके आएंगे? Because change and innovation is constantly happening. कुछ companies में innovation पे ज़्यादा emphasis है, कुछ companies में innovation में कम है. So depending on what your product is and depending on what your environment is. and depending on what your customers want you will have your innovation and change goals because you cannot change and innovate without any given planning so agar aapne change karna hai innovate karna hai to uske liye bhi aapko plan to karna padta hai ki hamare r&d ke goals kya honge hamare production ke goals kya honge in terms of making changes in the product or in terms of testing out a new design similarly productivity goals itself like output which is achieved from the inputs and apne dekha hoga mostly companies are very much concerned about their unit cost of production because unless until they have their unit cost of production they cannot correctly price their product so unit cost of production they can only know if they know all the inputs unki prices kya thi various labors ki materials ki to produce a particular product and that can only happen if they have ways and means to collect that data and collect that information 
in the presence of some production goals. So, the output achieved from inputs, which is also the efficiency of a company or unit cost of productions or unit produced per employees. We have many ways to make production goals. We can see the total number of units produced per employees. Total number of units produced per employees bhi dekhe ja sakte hain. Unit cost per product dekhi ja sakti hai. So, there are different production goals. Again, it will depend on the philosophy and the mentality and the way of working of the production department. So, you can see the list is not exhaustive. Isme aur bhi baut se goals hain jo aap operative goals ki heading mein add kar sakte hain. You can have your, for example, maybe supplier ya purchasing goals bhi aapke ho sakte. हमने कितने सप्लायर से परचेज क्या क्या चीज करनी आपकी स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप के गोल्स हो सकते हैं आपके डाइवर्सिफिकेशन के गोल्स हो सकते हैं सो देयर आर मेनी मेनी ऑपरेटिव गोल्स व्हिच अ कंपनी कैन फॉर्म द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू नोट इज दैट सक्सेसफुल ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस विल यूज अ केयरफुली बैलेंस्ड सेट ऑफ ऑपरेटिव गोल्स सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट और इस पे हम थोड़ा सा टाइम भी स्पेंड करना पसंद करेंगे जो हमने कहा उसका मतलब ये है if out of all these operative goals which we have described, if the company only stick to the financial goals of profitability, then they will start missing out on other areas. Because finances is only one overall way of measuring success of a company. But if you have only financial goals, तो फिर आपके बाकी के जो नॉन फाइनेंशियल एरियाज हैं लाइक रिसोर्सेज लाइक ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज लाइक द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज लाइक द प्रोसेस ऑफ इनोवेशन चेंज ये सारी की सारी चीजें आपकी थोड़ी निगलेक्ट होनी शुरू हो जाएंगी एंड दैट इज द डिस्कशन दैट इज अ पॉइंट इन आर डिस्कशन व्हिच ब्रिंग्स अस टू द इशू ऑफ एफिशिएंसी एंड इफेक्टिवनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एफिशिएंसी is nothing but the output achieved from the inputs utilized. And it is easy to measure. You can measure efficiency in terms of finances, in terms of units produced, because it is a ratio of input and outputs. But a company can be efficient, a company can be profitable, but still not effective. Because we briefly discussed earlier the difference between the two terms. And efficiency ke baare mein toh hum baut clear hain ki ye toh input or output ki ratio hai. Ki aap ne teen unit raw material se teen unit finished product produce kar liye. So aap ki efficiency 3 by 3 ho gai. Ya aap ne k unit se 4 unit output ke produce kar liye 4 by 6 aap ki efficiency ho gai. Point 6, 6, 7. What is effectiveness? Effectiveness is actually the achievement of non-financial goals as well or non-quantifiable goals as well. And her company ke non-quantifiable ya non-financial goals hote hain, chahe wo unko operative goals banaye ya na banaye. For example, let's take the example of a pharmaceutical company and they have given their medical rep or their salesman a target to achieve that you have to sell this medicine to this area say aapne is medicine ke 5000 unit bechne ya aapne is medicine ko 10 physicians ko introduce karana taaki wo prescriptions likhne shuru kar de aapne 10 sales call karni hai is mahine mein to the top consultants of this city this is a quantifiable goal this is a goal which can be measured because the person will say, okay, now I have made my 10 presentations or in a way his job is done. But is it done? Was his responsibility only to go to those physicians and present the product and its attribute and its properties to them? Was that the only job he was supposed to do? or? Was he also supposed to build rapport or relationship with them? Ye baut mumkin hai ke wo dus ke dus uh, doctors ko visit to kar hai. Lekin unme se teen doctors ko naraz kar dhe. To phir unho ne dus visit ka goal to achieve kar liya. Lekin teen doctors ko jo naraz kar diya. 
تو اس کا مطلب یہ ہوا کہ انہوں نے کمپنی کے گولس کو اوور آل اچیو نہیں کیا بیکاز اف ہی ہیڈ وزٹیڈ ٹین ڈاکٹرس اینڈ ہیڈ میڈ ریلیشن شپ وتھ دوز ٹین ڈاکٹرس میں کمپنی نے تو فیوچر میں بھی چلنا ہے تو پھر ہم کہہ سکتے تھے کہ دس پرسن از آلسو ایفیشینٹ اینڈ افیکٹیو یہ کوئی اور سیلس مین جنہوں نے اپنا سیلس کوٹا تو پورا کر دیا لیکن کسٹمرز خوش نہیں ہیں اس پروڈکٹ سے یا جو ریٹیلر ہیں وہ خوش نہیں ہیں بیکاز دا وے ہی گیو انہوں نے کوئی ساتھ ان کو سپورٹنگ سروس نہیں دی پوائنٹ آف پرچیز ڈسپلے نہیں دیے ریٹیلر کے ساتھ کوئی چائے کافی سوشلائزنگ کچھ نہیں کیا سو ان اے وے ہی از ڈیفیشنٹ دو ہی ایز اچیوڈ ہز کوانٹیفائڈ گیون گول تو افیکٹیونیس از دین دی وے کمپنی اچیو اٹس گولس پورے کے پورے جو ٹارگیٹس ہیں گولس ہیں صرف ایک تو فائنینشیل ہیں اور فائنینشیل گول کے ساتھ کیا کمپنی کی ریپیوٹ کمپنی کے ریلیشن شپس وہ افیکٹ تو نہیں ہو رہے کہیں یہ تو نہیں ہو رہا کہ ہوٹل ہے آپ کا فائیو اسٹار فائن اور آپ کی کیپیسٹی تو سیونٹی پرسینٹ ہے جو آپ نے پروجیکٹ کی تھی کہ ہم سکسٹی فائیو پرسینٹ کیپیسٹی پہ چلیں گے لیکن آپ سیونٹی پرسینٹ کیپیسٹی پہ چل رہے ہیں تو یو آر مور دین ایفیشنٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو یور اون اسٹینڈرڈ بٹ آر دوز پیپل لیونگ ان دیٹ ہوٹل آر دے ہیپی بیکاز اف موسٹ آف دیم آر ناٹ ہیپی دین ڈسپائٹ یور ایفیشنسی یو آر ناٹ افیکٹیو بیکاز یور کسٹمر از ناٹ ہیپی بیکاز دے آر ناٹ ہیپی یا آپ کے فوڈ کے ساتھ یا آپ کی سروسز کے ساتھ یا کسی بھی چیز کے ساتھ یا آپ کی ریسپشن کے ساتھ یا لوگوں کے ایٹیچیوڈ کے ساتھ کسی بھی چیز کے ساتھ اگر وہ نہ خوش ہیں تو آپ کی افیکٹیونیس ڈیلیوٹ ہو گئی تو دیٹ از وائی آپریٹو گول کی مکس کو جب ہم چنتے ہیں تو وہ بڑی کیئرفلی چننی پڑتی ہے کہ یہ صرف فائنینسز کی طرف باعث نہ ہو جائے یا صرف مارکیٹ کی طرف باعث نہ ہو جائے یا صرف انٹرنلی امپلائیز کے لیے باعث نہ ہو جائے اٹ شوڈ کور آل دا اسٹیک ہولڈرس یہ ڈیٹیل ہم تھوڑی سی بعد میں بات بھی کریں گے وین وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا اسٹیک ہولڈر اپروچ بٹ فار ناؤ اٹ از سفیشینٹ ٹو سے دیٹ دی ریئل سکسیس آف این آرگنائزیشن ول ڈیپینڈ آن ہاؤ کیئرفلی دی مکس آف دیز آپریٹو گولس از پک اینڈ ویدر دس مکس از بیلنسڈ اور نا ناؤ پیپل جنرلی آسک despite all this discussion which we had so far people have the right to ask why goals are important goals ki ahmiyat kya hai philosophic ahmiyat now we have seen two types of goals basically official goals mission statement and operative goals now the first and the prime most importance of the official goals or the mission statement is that they provide a legitimacy to the company they provide framework a context in which the company operates it provides an overall overarching guidance to the company a guidance or direction hai individual employees ke liye wo official goal se itni nahi aayegi jitni operative goal se aayegi lekin ek puri over company ki overarching jo values hain ya overarching jo guidance hai وہ کہاں سے اسٹیبلش ہو رہی ہے مشن سے بیکاز اف دا کمپنی ڈز ناٹ ہیو اینی مشن اف دا کمپنی ڈز ناٹ ہیو اینی آفیشیل گولس دین اٹ از جسٹ لائک اے کنٹری وچ ڈز ناٹ ہیو اینی کانسٹیٹیوشن اے کنٹری کی لیجیٹیمیسی کہاں سے آتی ہے اس کی لا سے اس کے کانسٹیٹیوشن سے جو ایک اوور آل کانٹیکس پرووائڈ کرتا ہے لائک ان آر کنٹری آر کانسٹیٹیوشن از دی کانسٹیٹیوشن آف اسلامک ریپبلک آف پاکستان it has a very different connotation connotation or a very different overarching value or guidance as compared to if it was the constitution of the republic of pakistan a constitution of the democratic republic of pakistan that is not our name our name is islamic republic of pakistan isi tarah companies ke jo official goals hain missions hain wo company ke business scope ko define kar rahe hain wo company ki vision unki values وہ ڈیفائن کر رہے ہیں جو انڈر لائنگ ہے کیونکہ کمپنیز تو بعد میں چینج ہوتی رہیں گی شاید وہ ڈائیورسیفائی بھی کر جائیں امپلائیز بھی نئے آ جائیں بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز بھی نئے آ جائیں لیکن ایک اوور آرچنگ ویلیوز گائڈنگ پرنسپلس تو رہیں گے وہ لیجیٹیمیسی پرووائڈ کرتے ہیں ٹو دا کمپنی اینڈ دے گیو اے سارٹ آف ریزن ٹو دی کسٹمر وائی دس کمپنی از ڈوئنگ دس وائی دس کمپنی از پوزیشننگ اٹ سیلف لائک دس بیکاز آف دی گائڈنگ principles because of the official goals because of the mission so here the importance of the official goals as far as 
ऑपरेटिव गोल्स आर कंसर्न ऑपरेटिव गोल्स की इंपॉर्टेंस अपनी जगह पर बहुत ज्यादा है बिकॉज दे प्रोवाइड डायरेक्शन एंड दे प्रोवाइड गाइडेंस टू द डिपार्टमेंट्स टू द पीपल वर्किंग इन साइड दोज डिपार्टमेंट्स बिकॉज एवरी इम्प्लॉय इन ए कंपनी इज नॉट टॉप मैनेजर एंड एवरी इम्प्लॉय इन द कंपनी इज देयर फॉर नॉट ऑलवेज टेकिंग और सीकिंग गाइडेंस फ्रॉम द मिशन दे आर टेकिंग गाइडेंस फ्राम ऑपरेटिव गोल्स क्योंकि उनका रोज का रोज काम चलना है उनके साल बाद उनकी परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल होता है उनको अपने ईयर के गोल और ऑब्जेक्टिव मिले होते हैं जिनको उन्होंने डिवाइड किया हुआ है इन देर मंथ मंथली गोल्स और फोर्ट नाइटली गोल्स तो वो ऑपरेटिव गोल्स हैं जिनको उन्होंने मजीद ब्रेक डाउन किया हुआ है तो एम्प्लॉय डायरेक्शन एंड एम्प्लॉय मोटिवेशन इज कमिंग फ्राम ऑपरेटिव गोल नाउ डायरेक्शन पार्ट इज अंडरस्टैंडेबल दैट इफ अ डिपार्टमेंट नोज दैट माई जॉब इज टू क्रिएट टू हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूनिट्स ऑफ प्रोड्यूस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वार्टर दे विल बी दे आर वेल डायरेक्टेड या अगर एक सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट को पता है कि मेरा काम है कि इस पर्टिकुलर ट्राइमेस्टर में या इस पर्टिकुलर क्वार्टर में हमने डेढ़ लाख यूनिट बेचना है इस प्राइस पे दे आर वेल डायरेक्टेड इसी तरह एच आर को पता है कि इस साल में हमने कंपनी में इतनी हायरिंग करनी है हमारी मैन पावर प्लानिंग के मुताबिक टॉप स्लॉट के इतने लोग आएंगे मिडल मैनेजमेंट के इतने आएंगे तो दे आर ऑल्सो वेल डायरेक्टेड बट वी हैव ऑल्सो सेट दैट ऑपरेटिव गोल्स प्रोवाइड एम्प्लॉय डायरेक्शन एज वेल एज एम्प्लॉयी मोटिवेशन तो हाउ डू गोल्स मोटिवेट पीपल दैट इज द वेरी बेसिक ओ बी क्वेश्चन और अ वेरी बेसिक मोटिवेशनल क्वेश्चन जिसमें स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट वुड नो that there is a concept of in management which is called management by objectives or mbo aur kaha ye jata hai ki jab goals samne hon objectives bane hon to motivation logon ki badh jati hai bajaye iske for for example aap ek shakhs ko hire karte hain aur hire karte waqt aap un saab se kehte hain ki aapko maine hire kiya hai aur aapka kaam ye hai ki aapne ek saal ke andar andar 5000 unit bechna hai and that is it और दूसरी तरफ आप एक साहब को हायर करते हैं और उन्हें कहते हैं कि मैंने आपको हायर किया है आप काम शुरू की ऑब्वियसली पहले केस में जहां आपने पांच हजार यूनिट उनको बता दिए हैं ही इज मोर डायरेक्टेड देन द सेकंड केस जहां आपने उन्हें कुछ भी नहीं बताया लेकिन अब मोटिवेशन जरूरी नहीं है कि आपके पांच यूनिट सुन के वो शख्स मोटिवेट हो सकता है वो डी मोटिवेट हो जाए इसलिए जरूरी है कि मोटिवेशन कायम करने के लिए यूजली जो ऑपरेटिव गोल्स बनते हैं वो म्यूचुअल कंसेंट से बनते हैं दैट the person to whom you are giving that responsibility he is also involved in that process wo jo goal banega that will motivate the employee because he he is himself or herself involved in making of that goal he owns that goal he knows this is my goal i have developed it and if i have to achieve it so uske liye ek to na direction bhi mili aur ek unko extra motivation bhi mil jayegi and motivational theories hain apart from expectancy and reinforcement and other theories of motivation and the equity theory of motivation goal theory of motivation bhi and goal theory of motivation precisely talks about this particular thing isi tarah ek department us department ko ye pata hai ki maine 3% for example grow karna hai aur ek department ko kuch pata nahi hai maine kitna grow karna hai to jisko pata hai maine kitna grow karna hai ek to unke paas direction hai rasta hai aur dusre unke paas motivation hai wahan tak jane ki because they know ki ye hamara target तो जब टारगेट ही कोई नहीं है तो फिर आप जितनी भी एफर्ट करेंगे ये तो नहीं पता चलेगा वेदर यू आर गोइंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन एंड वेदर यू आर अचीविंग दैट मच और नॉट तो योर मोटिवेशन विल बी एट स्टेक देर फॉर प्लीज दैट ऑपरेटिव गोल्स प्रोवाइड एम्प्लॉय डायरेक्शन एज वेल एज मोटिवेशन एन अदर थिंग विच ऑपरेटिव गोल्स प्रोवाइड इज द डिसीजन गाइडलाइंस कंसर्निंग मेनी इशूज ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक इट्स स्ट्रक्चर लाइक इट्स इनोवेशन लाइक इट्स एम्प्लॉय वेलफेयर ग्रोथ ये सारी की सारी चीजें भी ऑपरेटिव गोल्स से आएंगी ऑफिशियल या मिशन स्टेटमेंट हमें ये नहीं बताएगी कि ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का स्ट्रक्चर किस तरह का होगा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का रिपोर्टिंग रिलेशनशिप क्या होगा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के स्ट्रक्चर में चेंजेस कैसे आएंगी एम्प्लॉय वेलफेयर सिस्टम्स किस तरह के होंगे एम्प्लॉयज की ग्रोथ किस तरह की होगी ये जो हमने एग्जाम्पल्स देखी हैं ऑपरेटिव गोल्स में ये सब की सब चीजें आर प्रोवाइडिंग डिसीजन मेकिंग गाइडलाइंस टू द मैनेजर्स तो अगेन दे आर making the company and the people more focused because jab ek direction mil jati hai ek rasta mil jata hai aur us raste ke upar guidance bhi mil jati hai to phir aap ka focus mazid sharp ho jata hai and when you are focused the chances are that you you will perform because 
you are concentrating on what is at hand and not on other things which are not at hand. Or a very important aspect goals ka or importance goals ki ye hai that goals provide the performance standards or performance criteria. Like, when you goal hum banate hai, for example, sales department ka humne goal bana diya ki aapne 2 lakh units saal mein bechna. Ab ye goal to humne bana diya aur baad mein saal khatam hua aur pata chala ki unho ne 2 lakh nahi balki unho ne 1 lakh 90 hazar unit becha. To humne pata chala ki unho ne 10 hazar unit kam bechi. 10 hazar unit as compared to what? 10 hazar units as compared to the standard which we made when we made that goal of 200,000. Okay, याद रखिए जब planning stage पे हम objective या goal बनाते हैं, तो वो हमारा standard बन जाता है, जिससे हम जिसके मुकाबले में हम actual performance को मैयर करते हैं. Otherwise there is no yardstick. Otherwise there is no way we can call a sales manager and tell him that you have fallen short of your target. अगर हमने target दिया ही ना, so that target becomes the standard for the sales in that particular company or production. We have said that we have to produce 5,000 units. And the target we have given is that we have given seeing the resources which we have, seeing the capabilities and skills of our people, seeing the demand in the market, seeing the distribution network which we have. Looking at all aspects of our business, we have formulated that particular target and also looking at our past performance. We have now come up with that target and that target is not something which we have plucked from the air. That target needs to be respected because that is our standard now. So that is where the four functions of management, planning, leading, organizing, controlling, they meet. Because planning provides standards or wo control jo last part hai management ka, waha par wo standards, wo goals or objectives standard ban jayenge or wo actual performance se compare honge or phir pata chalega whether a company or a department has achieved the given uh, the required work done jo unko inse karana tha kya unhone wo kiya hai ya nahi kiya aur agar kam kiya hai to kyun kiya hai aur agar zyada kiya hai to kaise kiya hai ye sari ki sari cheeze variance analysis mein ya performance appraisal discussion ka hissa ban jayengi therefore the importance of goals is absolutely paramount that they not only provide us with overarching guidance, they provide us guidance as far as individual employee is concerned. Because humare jitne bhi operative goals hain, wo individual employees tak hum unhe break down kar sakte hain, trace kar sakte hain, aur unki performance ka wo yardstick ya standard hume mil jata hai, jisse hum unki actual performance compare karte hain, aur phir humare saamne picture aati hai, whether this employee has performed according to expectations or according to the aspirations of the company or not. Or is he yes or no may improvement happen? Because many a times we will see that the employee had a very genuine reason kiski vaya se wo apna standard achieve nahi kar sakti. Kya dun ke paas itni skills nahi thi? Kya dun ke paas itni capabilities nahi thi? Agle saal ke liye hume ye sabak ya lesson mila ke ab humne inko skills or capabilities deni. Kya dun हमारे पास इतने रिसोर्सेज ही नहीं थे कि हम उन लोगों से इतना काम करवा सकें जो हमने उनको दिया शायद हमारे एम्प्लॉइज इमोशनली डिस्टर्ब थे हम उनको वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस का वो ख्याल नहीं कर सके जो हमने उनसे प्रॉमिस किया था और उनकी पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम्स ने उनकी इमोशनल प्रॉब्लम्स ने उनके काम पे इफेक्ट करना शुरू कर दिया तो दैट डिस्कशन ऑफ एक्चुअल एंड स्टैंडर्ड की जब हम कंपेयर करते हैं उससे ही हम लर्न करते हैं all the organizational learning, most of the organizational learning takes place around that discussion. Therefore, we cannot underestimate the importance of goals. Because if there are goals, then we don't have standards. We don't have criteria, yardsticks, guidelines, which we can compare our performance and see. We will be blind in the corporate race, in the uh, you know, run for success or run for uh, our careers or jobs will be blind. We will not know where we are heading unless and until we have these performance criteria or these standards with us. That's why we can't deny importance of goals. So in today's session, we briefly talked about the mission statements and we also showed you a sample mission statement so that the format of a mission statement 
becomes familiar to you koi ek format to nahi hai mission statement likhne ka but generally the word this is how it is worded but it there are there are no standard words because every company will have its own mission every company will have its own values every company will have its own guiding principles to farak to hongi lekin ek pattern humne aapko dikhaya mission statement ka ek pattern humne aapko dikhaya guiding values ka uske baad humne operative goals pe discussion ki aur humne dekha ki operative goals are short run goals whereas official goals were long run goals जो हमारे बिजनेस के स्कोप को डिफाइन कर रहे थे ये हमारे प्राइमरी टास्क को डिफाइन कर रहे हैं कि हमने इतनी चीज बेचनी है इतने यूनिट्स प्रोड्यूस करने हैं इतने नए आइडियाज लाने हैं इतने नए प्रोडक्ट डेवलप करने हैं इतनी कॉस्ट सेव करनी है इतने नए लोग हायर करने हैं तो ये सारे के सारे हमारे प्राइमरी रोजमर्रा के कामों से रिलेटेड जो गोल्स थे उनको हमने ऑपरेटिव गोल्स कहा और फिर हमने उनकी इम्पोर्टेंस को हाईलाइट किया ऑफिशियल गोल लेजिटिमेसी दे रहे हैं हमको बाकी के जो ऑपरेटिव गोल्स हैं वो हमको डायरेक्शन दे रहे हैं वो हमको मोटिवेशन दे रहे हैं वो हमें डिसीजन में गाइडलाइंस प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं और सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ जो हमने डिस्कस की जिस पे हम इस सेशन को क्लोज करेंगे वो ये कि गोल्स आर प्रोवाइडिंग अस विद स्टैंडर्ड्स गोल्स आर गिविंग अस परफॉर्मेंस क्राइटेरिया विद दैट वी कम्प्लीट आर सेशन फॉर टूडे एंड विल इनशाला सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम टू आफिस